Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put the screen back in this in this fan uh, shroud here and housing. I took this out, like I said, just to clean it and paint it. Plus, it made it easier to clean all this stuff. All this thing is held in there with is uh, pop rivets. So it's real simple. Just push the paw for a bit up through and then um, use a washer on the back side here to help capture it and then just uh, tighten the paw rivet down. So nothing special, real simple. I gotta change the head in this. I didn't realize I had a different head in this. Mm, someone tightened it good. So like I was saying, that's all we need to do. And you can see it, it it'll draw it. See how it, it drew it right tight to the housing. So there's only three of those put in there and they are aluminum rivets too. Um, that's what originally was in it. And I just drilled them out. Like I said, so I can clean the housing and uh, the screen. So there's only one more to do. After I get that done, um, there's one last thing that I forgot about, and there's a mount here that keeps the engine from rocking back and forth. I didn't get that cleaned up and painted yet, so I may have to stop for the evening. I'll go ahead and sandblast that, get it cleaned up and painted, and then uh, this can go on. Um, then we can start working on the transmission side. I'm not gonna put the housing over top of this and I didn't clean it up purposely because remember the head is a little bit different so I'm probably gonna have to notch this just a little bit more um, I'm not sure yet so this will give me the um, this housing here will give me the placement of this because it'll slip right just like that and then I can figure out exactly where I need to modify this so that's kind of why I'm working on this first then we'll get into working on this and then also the exhaust needs modified so until i get that piece cleaned up um i'll bring you back after i get that cleaned up and painted all right so we're back we're gonna start installing the the transmission side of this uh golf cart engine here hopefully the vice isn't in a way And it's not. This is a bearing.
So I'm just going to install all the shims that was originally on this. It seems like a lot to me, um, but that's what I'm going to do. So there's all the original shims. And I'm looking over here at the manual too, just to uh, verify that I'm getting everything right. Then there's no ring goes on here. <clears throat> then it shows all of this stuff going on. Uh, what we're going to do though is we're going to put a little bit of lube on this O ring. That noise is the air compressor. It has an auto bleed on it. It seems awful snug for some reason. I'll take and uh, downfall is I can't see what's going on but it appears like it's not it looks like it doesn't want to go over top of this o-ring that's what it looks like. Let me put a little bit more uh, lube on there. See if we can get it to go. And there is a chamfer in this, so you would think it would go. <clears throat> okay, so there it went. So like I said, this belt here is um, old, but with it laying in here, there's a gap, it's not terrible. We're gonna go with that for now. I almost should just order a new belt. Okay, so I got everything bolted together here. I got the uh, the nut on and torqued it to it. It's supposed to be and bent the tabs over. Um, we're basically, all we need to do is put the uh, end cover on in the springs and then this side's done. Uh, and then hopefully the other parts are dry with paint and then we can put the fan cover on too. So we'll see what happens here. This might be a task too. One of the things I noticed too is I don't have um, the drain plug for this. So I don't know what I'm going to do there yet. Um, I guess I'll just try to order one is what the plan is. You see how the, the transmission works. They call it a transmission. To me, it's a it's a constant velocity transmission style. Um, apparently, golf carts, uh, snowmobile engines are pretty much all the same in this design. So the transmission, how it works, is uh, as this spins up, 
these ball bearings start to centrifugal force push out, which causes this to move in. So low speeds, you're going to ride down, the belt's going to ride down in here, and that's going to get you your torque. But as you speed up, this gets out here, it changes your gear ratio. And then the other side also does the same thing by moving in and out, and that's how you get the speed out of these. So it's like a centrifugal clutch, but it's really a constant velocity transmission style. And this, they're doing the same thing in the newer cars, except they're using the, the steel belt. Um, at least the ones that I've seen. There may be rubber belts too, I'm not sure. So, one of the things that uh, we need to do too is a little bit of loop on the o-ring and this is just regular motor oil I think I do actually have uh, o-ring grease Just has washer and a lock nut that goes on the end of this. Want to at least get it started in case it wanted to fly back off on me. I don't remember the size of these. They look like they're 7 16 and they are. And I'm missing a nut here, I, I don't know where it went. Uh, this looks like the right washer. Oh, it is laying here. I need to clean my bench off. Sometimes I get into these projects and I get a mess. Let me get a 7 16 And I believe the book calls for a torque of see what it says here 54 to 66 inch pounds so I don't have my inch pound torque wrench out right at the moment But that's all right I'm sure you know so all you do is take 54 divided by 12 and that'll give you four and a half foot-pounds and we'll do the high one too so that's 66 66 whoop, 66 divided by 12 it's five and a half so we'll just shoot for five foot-pounds and this torque wrench probably does not go down to that it's kind of right there, so we'll give it a shot. I mean, it's barely any torque at all. See? So there you have it this side's done uh, the only thing we need to do is get a drain plug or a fill plug I'll probably have to order that from McMaster because uh, 
I don't know where else to get something like that. I could probably try to find one online. And, uh, and the reason why there's a fill plug there is this gets filled with transmission fluid. It calls for Harley Davidson transmission fluid. Um, probably regular transmission fluid would probably be just as fine. And it says 12 ounces, so it's not a whole lot in there, but enough. Okay, we're ready to install the fan shroud. Um, since we got the clutch side already done, um, I was waiting on this piece here to dry and paint, so I went ahead and installed it already, so it's ready to go on. Um, all that is is basically a motor mount. And there is no gasket on this. This is just a, um, it does have a pin fit. So we're just tapping it on the pins. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Then it, all it has is uh, three screws on the back. And they're Phillip head 516 screws. The one over here is in a spot that <clears throat> makes you wonder why engineers design it that way. And then the bottom one is down here. And those need to work too. Um, so that's pretty much it for the engine right now. Uh, I got the points. I think it's the ignition plate they call it you know that needs to go on um, then there's a coil bracket that goes here that need that can go on but it's only just little stuff I'm probably gonna start working on this shroud um, like I said I don't have the carburetor stuff that's why it's not on yet um, I do have the brackets and stuff but I don't have the carburetor itself I was looking through the box and the carburetor does not look like it's gonna be repairable but I'll probably do a few things off camera here uh, and then I'll bring you back uh, closer to where we're almost done here okay remember I said about the shroud has to be modified so I took and cut it here welded it up then cut it here and welded it up so it kind of looks like a um, nice entry now so now if you slip this guy over top and you would tighten these, this bolt up, you can see that it fits nice around that cylinder. So next thing I'm gonna do is get this thing sandblasted and then we'll get it painted up and then we'll get it installed as well. So one more thing down, plenty more to do.